53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up. Uh, Okay, that was your launch button. Now let's do the mode, or priority mode. This one will give priority to targets. It will show you the five closest targets to you. So it will show, now that S is the SAM. So you have a SAM site very close to you, about your two o'clock. So this one will show you five priority, high priority targets. If it's not lit, it will show you up to 16 targets. So you can press it or unpress it with your mouse. Now this one, it looks kind of like a boat. It is a boat. Let me see if I can zoom it in a little bit better. There, that is your naval threat. So if you press it, it will give priority to SAM sites on boats or boats that are armed with SAM missiles they could get you and your system test page which is it works together with the naval or with any other SAM threat that you can have the default of this one is unlit so you will press it if you want to display unknown Radars. So you'll see a U here showing you there is an unknown radar on your vicinity. So you can press it to display unknown radars and give them priority over other type of radars. And the last one, the test page, is the one that will show and separate threats in your RWR. So the highest priority threats will stay where they are and you will move away from the center radiantly the not so high threats in your display so right now it will be that one that's going to stay where they are if you have a threat are about here it will disappear and it will move be move away from the center so you can focus on the targets closer to you and that's it my friends those are all the buttons that you need to know about your threat warning system now let me uh, explain a little bit about the parts and all these symbols inside your RWR so your aircraft is in the center of the scope the scope have two rings the outside ring which shows the pilot that the threat is not inside the lethal range which is the smaller ring keep in mind this is not showing you range of targets it's just showing you where the targets are it's not going to tell you distance so do not judge the distance of the symbol as the distance of the target and finally here's the list of the different types of threats displayed on you RWR now that you know where the threat is you need to know a couple of things before you can actually defend yourself the first is what kind of missile is coming to get you the second one is who fired that missile and the third one is what kind of countermeasures will be more effective so let's talk about the first one what kind of missile is coming at you so right now you have an S displaying right almost in front of you that means this is SAM site we're going to your right MFD and this is the path that you're taking so I'm gonna turn that way and see if we can get a missile launch out of this SAM site. Now you can see the ring of the SAM is red and if you get out of there it will become yellow meaning is there but it's not currently get getting a good lock on you. So those rings 
are the radar range of the same. One, one, mud, south. That was your AWOPS telling you mud south. The mud means that you're being target. Cowboy, one, one, mud, southwest. All right, let me pause it. There's the sound again. There's a missile coming. I pause it. So now you can see all the lights that are on. And you can see your RWR. It's telling you more or less at 3 o'clock. It is the same side. They just fire a missile at you. Right before that, the AWOX was telling you mud south. That means that they're pointing the guns at you from the south. So if you look here, you see that more or less south is where the missile was just fired. So let's go back up. And if you look your RWR, there is exactly where that missile is coming from. The circle flashing means the missile has been fired from that SAM site. And now you can see you're out of the lethal range of that missile. But anyway, you took too long to get out of there and they got one missile coming at you. You can see the big red one. Let me show you the range. Oh, hold on because I have it. There you go, shift P. That's more or less how your battlefield looks like right now. So you are right here. There is the SAM that fired at you, and this is the big, huge radar that is monitoring the whole area. You have one, two, three, four SAM. I mean, it's covering SAMs. So that's that. Now, if you're right here, and let's say that missile was an infrared missile, it's not going to show it there infrared missiles are heat seeking missiles they're not gonna show they're not gonna alert you that they're on the air so you are going to know what you do you go to the 3d view but before you even are under attack you will have a wax telling you that there is a missile coming you will see where the SAM site are and you will have a very nice warning before a missile is even fired at you. All you gotta do is just pay attention to the instruments. Once again, this is a simulation, so it's not perfect. So bear with it and be patient, but it should work most of the times. Now let's go back to your 2D view and let me show you another cool thing. So if you're here, you know you're under attack even when you don't know that you're under attack go to the keyboard and press 4 this 4 key will show you where the missiles are coming from the only thread in is that you have to be looking in the direction of the missile so you know that there is a very heavily armed area so just move your hair head that way and press 4 and look in the direction that you're being targeted at more or less 3 o'clock over there and hit number 4 there you go so now that one is tracking the missile that is coming at you if for some reason you hit number 4 and it doesn't do anything there is not a missile coming at you but if it was an infrared missile this view will lock on that target. Cowboy, one one, mud, southwest. There you go, they just fire another one. 